right everybody just gonna give y'all an update I finally smoked my first meat on my acquired little smoker here told y'all I would give y'all an update so here we are um, I was gonna show y'all the meat and that was the purpose of gonna do a video but it didn't work out that way um, I smoked a whole chicken, two pork tenderloins, and two racks of ribs. Um, they were cut into four, basically four pieces, two half, two halves, basically. Um, anyway, um, it's definitely a learning experience. Um, it was kind of a comedy of errors at first for about the first hour, trying to keep the heat right and everything else. But, uh, after I got all that down, um, this thing don't take much wood to keep a, you can use one little chunk and I mean, it'll shoot that fire up about 350. So you really have to, I've really got to learn a little bit, but anyway, um, it turned out really good. Um, all the meat had a really good smoke ring on it. Um, and, uh, so, uh. What was I going to say? Um, all the meat had a good smoke ring on it. Um, the ribs were fall off the bone. I mean, they just fell off the bone. Um, the pork tenderloin had almost a half to a three-quarter inch smoke ring. I mean, there was just a thin layer in the center that wasn't didn't have smoke in it. So it all got a really good uh, smoke ring to it. Um, we grilled some hot dogs and hamburgers and had everybody over. Um, everybody was carried away with it. They said it was really good. So, I mean, they said it was good, so I guess that's the good thing. I told the wife I'd be happy if it just turned out to be, you know, dog food. Because <laughs> it was just a comedy of errors. But, uh, anyway, um, we had, uh sister-in-law the niece over so we had we fed one two three four five six six people seven people yeah seven people and everybody ate um but i'm really you know the ribs i wish the i'll do one of the ribs a little bit different um and i think that was because one was on one side of the uh, smoker and the other was on the other side of the smoker so i think that's what uh got uh got them to be a little bit different um the last two hours i wrapped them in foil and uh they uh they turned out pretty good i was really surprised with having as much of a smoke ring as i had Wish I knew I'd turn this around. Anyway, um, with as big a smoke ring as I had, I almost expected the flavor to be overwhelming with the smoke, um, but it really wasn't. Um, um, it really had a lot of flavor to it and wasn't uh, wasn't overwhelming, so it really turned out good. All the meat was soft. Um, I'd show y'all, but, I mean, they devoured it. I mean, there's nothing left. I think uh, the wife put back a, you know, couple ribs for the boss at work um, so he could sample it. But, I mean, out of a full chicken, two ribs, two racks of ribs, and two pork loins, there's nothing left nothing all six people ate every bit of that so it turned out pretty good I'm, I'm happy with it being the first time um do have to do some repairs and some cleaning up on it um like i said it was a comedy of errors um ended up knocking a hole in my firebox um because i got it up too hot i put like three uh, pieces of wood in there and couldn't get my temperature below 350 400 degrees and I didn't want to cook my meat that high so I tried taking it out when I did I hit it too hard and 
was trying to get in a hurry and knocked a hole in the bottom of it. But that's an easy fix. I'll take and cut out a piece of metal and weld it in there. So that's not a big deal. It's just one of those things that happens. Like I said, the first hour was a comedy of errors. Anything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, so uh, it's a learning experience. The next time will be better. Um, the, you know, I think that one rack, one rack turned out really good. It was fall off the bone good. The other was still good, but I forgot to pull the membrane off of one of the racks of ribs and it wasn't fall. It didn't fall off the bone like the other one. So, you know, it's just things that I'll have to learn and I'll get better with time. But for what it was with what all went wrong the first hour and finding out I could only put maybe one or two chunks in there at a time and be able to keep my temperature under 300. Um, I think I've done pretty good. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to do some repairs to it. I'm going to put some uh, uh, tuning plates in the bottom of it. I'm going to fix the bottom of the smoker bo or the firebox, um, clean it up a little bit. And um, hopefully on the next video, I will definitely try to get y'all some uh, uh, video of the meat itself. Um, I've got a photo on my phone here, and I will try to add it to the end of this video. Um, if not, I mean, we'll try something different. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll try to get y'all a video the next time of... Uh, the actual meat and the smoking instead of looking at the label of my smoker. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.